Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. We are back with our monthly sponsored video from Plex and we're doing our video early this month because they just rolled out a new feature. So the next time you turn on your Plex device, whether it's your TV, your computer, or your mobile device, you're going to see this screen announcing a new search and discovery feature that is now going to be made available. You can decide not to enable it if you don't want to, but I do think it is quite useful because it will allow you to look for just about any piece of content, whether it's on your own Plex server or on any other streaming service that's out there, and it integrates quite nicely into your existing Plex interface. And we're going to explore how this works in just a second, but I do wanna let you know in the interest of full disclosure that this is a paid sponsorship from Plex. However, they are not reviewing or approving what you're about to see before it is uploaded, and all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. So let's get into it now and see how this new feature works. So we're logged in right now with my NVIDIA Shield, and I have Plex on the home screen at the moment. And you're going to notice on your home screen you have a new watch list function, which we're going to get to in a minute. But what I wanted to demo first is the search functionality. So we're going to go up here to search, and I'm going to select here Top Gun, which is, of course, getting a sequel in the very near future. And when I do my search here, you can see that I have Top Gun showing up in my own Plex personal media library, but if I go down here on more ways to watch and execute the search there, what we're going to see is that I can find all the different places that I can watch Top Gun. So I can watch it on my own server here, as you can see, but it's also going to direct me over to Netflix, Paramount Plus, and a few other places that have it available to watch. And if I select Netflix right now, that will drop me right off into Netflix where I can play Top Gun from that service. Now, if you don't want to watch Top Gun at this moment, you can add it to the new watch list feature. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that watch list function right now. And now we can see that it is on my watch list. And now if we jump back to my Plex homepage and go over to the watch list function here, you will see that we have Top Gun on the list, and if I select the movie from here, I will be brought back to that page we had before. So I could watch it on my server, or on Netflix, or Paramount Plus. And what you can do in the settings is go through and tell Plex which services that you're subscribed to so it can better populate the list that you see on screen here. Now this watch list feature will sync up across all of your devices. So if you are out with friends and people are talking about a show that you haven't seen, you can do the search on your phone and then add it to your watch list. So I've been meaning to watch Chernobyl on HBO. I'm gonna add it to my watch list here. I could start watching it on my way home just by tapping on the HBO icon to bring me over to HBO Max, but I can also wait until I get home and it'll be waiting for me on my watch list here, which I can then jump into and watch from here. And if I had something on my local Plex server, I would have the option to watch it locally as well. The local Plex searches do not go up to the Plex servers in the cloud. So it actually executes two different searches. It'll look for the stuff from their directory, and then it will go out to the local servers that you're connected to. It will also give you content that's on a friend server if they have connected you to that server. Now you're also going to see a new feature added to your Plex interface called Discover, and this is going to be something where you can find new things to watch across many different services. If you don't want it, you can just unpin it from your sidebar just like all the other Plex features, but I think there's some things here that are worth talking about. So for example, you've got your trending trailers up here first where you're going to see a bunch of new movies that are coming out soon. And you can of course watch the trailer, but you'll notice here when I click that I can add this to my watch list. So when this movie becomes available for streaming, I can be sure to watch it so I don't forget to see something that I saw a trailer for. I don't get out to the movies all that much, so when it is available, I'd like to see it, and this is a way to set a reminder for yourself. Now, also here on the Discover page below the trailers, you'll find your watch list again, so you can get it here in Discover, but also off the home page. You also get a list of things that are trending on your subscribed services. These are the things that you told Plex you were subscribed to. And as you can see here, we've got a Paramount Plus show, we've got a Netflix show, we've got an Amazon show. They're not going to limit this based on marketing agreements or something. It is just data 
coming from those sources that they have aggregated together here. Uh, you can also see things that are trending on services that you're not subscribed to. So if you see some things that you like, you might want to switch up your subscription matrix, if you will, uh, and you'll be able to get some window into what is popular beyond uh, just what you're paying for currently. And then they've got a bunch of other things here that will change over time and will be personalized based on your preferences. Now, once you have the watch list populated, there are some ways in which you can filter it down. So right now, I've got Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and Top Gun, which are in theaters very soon, but not available to stream. So I don't really want to see them on my watch list until they're available. So what I can do here is go over to this uh, drop down that says all, and I can say only show me what's available to stream, and that will take those off the list for now. But once Top Gun 2 and Sonic 2 are available to watch somewhere, it will come back in when this filter is applied. I can also narrow it down by TV shows if I want, if I'm looking to uh, binge something for a while, or of course limit it to movies here. And then you also have the ability to sort it by uh, release date or critic rating. So as you build up your watch list, you can really dive into it in a couple of different ways to find exactly what you're looking for. And again, the searches are all universal here. So if it's available somewhere, Plex is going to find it and you can add it to this list. Now, when you first enable this feature, Plex is going to ask you what streaming services you're subscribed to. If you want to change that later, you can go into settings on your device. Here on the Android TV, you'll find it under the experience section and just look for streaming services. And when you select that, you can go through here and add and remove services as you go. So I just turn those two off. And that, of course, will impact some of the things I might see in search and discovery. But you can very easily swap out things here as your subscriptions change over time. And that will apply across all of your devices on your Plex account. Now, at the time I'm recording this video, this feature is in beta. I've got a link to a Plex forum post where you can submit ideas for improving it. But I think it's off to a good start here. It definitely will search across just about any platform that is out there. Additionally, it will also search on Plex's streaming competitors because remember, Plex has a streaming platform of their own but they are looking to make this widely universal. So it will be better, I think, than what you will get built into your device natively. And Plex would really like you to think of them now as a noun, Plex, and a verb, Plexit. So that's what they want you to call it when you're searching for something, just Plexit. So we're, we'll be coming back to this, I am sure, in the near future. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Definitely share those comments with Plex as well. And until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching, and I want to thank Plex for their longstanding support of the channel. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Jim Tannis and Tom Albrecht, Hot Sauce and Video Games and Eric's Variety Channel, Brian Parker and Frank Goldman. Amda Brown and Matt Zagaya. And Chris Allegretta. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.